Hi, I'm Brenton. Um, I volunteer as a name mentor. My name's Eileen and I'm a student leader at the Wellbeing Centre. My name's Helen Gibson and I live at Coolabong Village and I'm a mentor here and I'm also a mentor with AIM. So what is AIM? AIM is basically this not-for-profit organisation which caters for young Indigenous students from kindergarten to year 12 trying to reduce the dropout rates for young Indigenous kids. Uh, the Wellbeing Centre is a space on campus in Building 11 and basically it's an area where students and staff can go to get connected with support services on campus. So how did you get involved in AIM? I was just walking around at the uni and I saw this poster up saying that you can volunteer for AIM and so I just thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. A couple of years ago I was looking for a casual job that aligned with my degree and also what I'm passionate about, which is health and education. So when I saw an advertisement on the Jobs on Campus website, I thought, oh, this is perfect for me. I really like talking to people. I, I talk a lot and communicating with people is just something that I would say that I'm good at. When I finish uni, I'm going to be a teacher, so it's kind of relevant to my field of study as well. Working with what's important to me, which is health and education, um, was one of the, I guess, main factors that contributed to my decision to work with wellbeing. I suppose I, I wanted to experience working with younger people. Being a mentor at Coolabong is all about helping the residents here and so I just thought that would be a good thing to do. What's some of the challenges that you've faced whilst being a mentor? During AIM, like reaching out to kids that probably aren't that keen to talk to the mentors and stuff there. You know, just being able to connect with those students and build up a relationship so they trust you enough to ask for help and for that support. To go beyond your normal barriers and that and, and learning like the art of enthusiasm I guess like you have to kind of get outside your comfort zone. Juggling work in uni I'm a full-time student and I have two part-time jobs but working at Wellbeing has really been helpful in um, my time management and organisation skills. So what's been the best experience? If you get like more involved you get to travel around and stuff so you get to go to different campuses and and mentor young kids and that. And this experience has really helped my academic life. I majored in marketing so I guess my experience with wellbeing would lead me into health promotion which is one of the most important things that I think that I could do right now. I feel like I know what I want to do, it's helping me know that I've definitely chosen the right direction to go and learn more things because I'm keen to learn and get involved. What would you say to someone who's looking to get involved in these extra activities? I'd say that like well, if they enjoy working with kids, younger people and that, it would be a profitable experience. Definitely do it. It's a lot of fun. You learn a lot. and It's not just another part-time job. There's, um, you know, professional development opportunities. There's opportunities to, you know, build networks in the community. It's really worth getting involved in. It can really change your whole perspective on things and it's, it just gives you so much experience and you become like really close with the other people who are involved in it as well. It's really invaluable thing. It, it's given me the training I need for, for leadership positions, leadership roles. It's also helped me to kind of see how I can make a difference in people's lives. You're helping people. At the end of the day, um, if you're passionate about people and giving back to you, your peers and your family and your community, it's, it's a really good way to go about it.